Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to day four of biotechnology of the build for the built environment annual summit. Um, we are the hub for biotechnology in the built environment, and this is a joint initiative between Northumbria University and Newcastle University. Um, today's event, so we're one of, uh, this is the fourth day in this event, is organised by the Responsible Interactions Research theme. And you can see that we're one of four themes across HBBE. So we have building metabolism, uh, living construction and microbial environments, and we're the fourth theme, Responsible Interactions. So my name is Ruth Morrow. I'm one of the three co-leads of our theme. I'm also a Professor of Biological Architecture in the School of Architecture Planning Landscape at Newcastle University. Um, before I introduce my other th two theme leads, um, let me do some of my social media duties first, what my kids call the social meds. Um, so in order to engage with us, obviously we've got presentations across the day which are broadcast on YouTube. Um, we'd really encourage any questions or comments that you have, put, please put those in the chat which is on the left hand side of the screen. Those will be relayed into the Zoom room that the presenters are within and they'll either uh, they'll be asked those questions uh, directly. And if there's not enough time to cover everything, we'll encourage the presenters to go and, and talk uh, through YouTube and respond to some of the questions. Please also engage through social media. Um, we've got a hashtag um, uh, BBE21, and we've also got our Twitter and Instagram accounts that we encourage you to, to talk through as well. And, obviously follow us on the YouTube channel. Also after this event, if you haven't had time to watch the first three days, which I really encourage you to do because we've had some amazing, phenomenal speakers from around the globe. Um, I would really encourage you to have a look, search for HBBE and the YouTube and you'll find previous um, videos. So as I say, uh, I'll introduce my colleague, Ben. Ben, do you want to say hi? Hello, my name is Ben Bridgens. I'm a senior lecturer in architectural technology. I work closely, closely with Ruth and Carmen to lead the Responsible Interactions theme. And I've been leading the delivery of our experimental building called the OHM, which I'll be talking about shortly. And Carmen, do you want to introduce yourself? And then I'm going to hand over to Carmen because she's going to take us through the next part of the event. Thanks, Ruth. Uh, next, please. So hi everyone, my name is Carmen McLeod and I'm a Newcastle University training and my research in the HBBE is exploring the social, cultural and ethical dimensions of emerging biotechnology applications, especially as these, as these pertain to experimenting with living materials in the built environment context. My research is focused around three main strands, relationships, responsibilities, and sustainabilities. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to move on? Just tell you quickly what that means. The relationship strand is considering the challenges and opportunities of cross- Sorry, did you lose me? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, am I back? You're back, yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. I seem to have an unstable connection. Uh, so I'm looking at these ideas of responsibilities, uh, sustainabilities, and relationships. And so now I'd like to talk about, the, introduce the other members of the Responsible Interactions team, who are a really inspiring bunch of people. We have three RAs, Carolina Block, Armand Agraviator, and Pippa McLeod-Brown, who are all architects, as well as having experience and passion for biodesign. Carolina Armand and Pippa are embedded in the prototype teams, which you will hear about more uh, shortly from Ruth and Ben. Leila Van Allen is a PhD candidate who is doing amazing research across the living construction and responsible interactions themes. And we're very lucky to have two interns, Nikki Pastorelli and Soma Mulkagi, both Nikki and Soma are from non-design backgrounds, but both of them are really helping us to understand the regenerative, circular, and interrelated natures of the prototypes. Next, please. Next, please. 
so I'm just going to quickly run through the day just so you have an idea of what Hi. we're going to be doing. So we're going to have um, our first uh, speaker is Professor Peg Rawls. Following that, we'll have our poster session uh, and a break. Uh, then we're hearing from Professor David Benjamin, our second speaker. Uh, following a short comfort break, we're going to have a really interesting panel discussion about putting biotechnologies into practice in the built environment and what are those challenges and opportunities. So now I'd like to spend a couple of slides to give you an overview of the nature of the responsible interactions theme, including the aims and the objectives of our work. You might have already been introduced to the overarched HBBE vision. But for those people who aren't familiar with it, here it is. Our vision is to develop biotechnologies to create a new generation of materials, efficient industrial constructions, metabolize their own waste, reducing pollution, generate energy and high value products and modulate their microbiome to benefit human and ecological health. Uh, there are potential challenges and hurdles that will come around in, in terms of implementing this vision. So a core aspect of the responsible interactions theme is to ask, how can we take into account and undertext that this vision sits within? Such as, how do we take into account unintended consequences of innovation? What about equitable outcomes from the research? Who will actually benefit? What about the relationship with nature and potential ethical questions about manipulating and exploiting biological agents and materials? Are these new technologies better? And what does better actually mean? And how do we test our discussion? Scale. Next, I've developed a set of aims and objectives for the responsible interactions theme in order to try and address some of these wider questions. And as you will see, the aims of all the themes and the researchers in the HBBE. So these are our aims and objectives. To carry out reflexive, inclusive and critical research that aims to develop a responsible, coordinated and integrated approach to biotechnology for the built environment by understanding the interactions that emerge from HBBE's activities. And to do this, what we want to do is investigate the interactions between the natural systems, new and existing biotechnologies, construction, practice and the built environment and cultures. We want to support and explore stakeholders and end users of biotechnologies and practices required to underpin the emergence of responsible biotechnologies. And thirdly, we want to develop an expanded understanding of the impacts of large-scale prototyping of biotechnologies, taking into and the OM, which is our experimental house, and you'll hear more about this soon from Ben, uh, is where we, we will uh, create in collaborative activities, where we also want to bring in uh, external stakeholders and publics in order to provide key platforms for enabling these interactions. 